Welcome to this week's vlog. On the farm here, we're busy with cultivations ahead of the autumn drilling campaign. We've had some of our sewage cake spread. Here in Essex, we're still incredibly dry, which I know is unimaginable for some parts of the north and the west that are struggling to get harvest completed with really difficult wet conditions. The weather of the last 12 months has had such an impact on the way we've been able to farm. And those of us that have been lucky as opposed to those of us that have really struggled with the wet conditions. We continue to urge DEFRA to get the Farm Recovery Fund money out of the door to those farmers that desperately need it. On Monday, I met with the Prime Minister's senior policy team in number 10. We highlighted the, the critical importance of the agricultural budget in delivering for food security, in enabling economic growth and enabling the delivery of those legislated environmental targets. We will be asking members to get involved with writing to your MPs to make sure that MPs really understand why that budget is so important ahead of the autumn statement. I also met with Baroness Heyman. We initially focused on blue tongue. Obviously the spread of the disease this week moving into East Yorkshire is incredibly concerning. There's also been the announcement of the emergency vaccine approval. Initially, this will be for the high risk areas, but I urge all livestock keepers, please do keep up to date with the latest situation in your area and be vigilant for signs of the disease. As we move into the autumn sales, it's incredibly important that we really are able to track exactly where this disease is circulating and make sure we minimize the risk. I'm now going to hand over to David, who was in the uplands this week. It's been great to be here today in the heart of the uh, Exmoor National Park and, and listen to the concerns of farmers who live and work here. The challenges here are, of course, the same as so many other parts of the uplands. It's the difficulty with being stuck in HLS uh, and the rates not being lifted up to match the new schemes, inability to get into the new schemes. One size doesn't fit all. It's not the same farm here as the North of England, yet we have a stopping rate that is the same for all. And that relationship with the natural, with the natural park and natural England, it's just not working. There are not strong bonds. There is not trust. If we're going to really achieve for de delivering for the environment and for farming and those rural upland communities, we need better relationships on the ground. I'm really pleased I came here, uh, and I can't wait to come again. Next week is Back British Farming Day on Wednesday, and I really would like members to get involved by promoting the day on social media, by taking videos, and really taking this opportunity to thank the British public for continuing to support British farming. Thank you very much for listening to this week's vlog.